Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here on Tuesday and we're on part two of 3D printing and AI. And last time we talked in depth about 3D printing and what it was. So this time we're gonna talk about what does AI really do with regard to 3D printing? Well, it can do a lot of things, but the very first thing is this. When 3D printing was first invented, it was very, very time consuming to make any part. And the reason why is it was all done through trial and error back at that time. Uh, there was no software or very basic software. And you really just had to figure out as you went along how to end up with a product that you wanted. Well, in the last five years, of course, just like everything else with AI, uh, AI has been introduced into the software that runs 3D printers. And an example of this is the French company Sculptio that reads CAD files and optimizes the file and then figures out the best way to make a part. So that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> that uh, AI can automate this very time-consuming uh, trial and error process. That's really good. Uh, but AI can do several other things with regard to 3D printing and making things. Uh, one of those things is defect detection. And we've talked in up other episodes about uh, the improvement of sensors and how sensors is one of the enabling technologies for AI in the autonomous vehicle space, but it also applies to manufacturing and using 3D printing and making stuff. And uh, so when you're making uh, parts on a 3D printer, each one is made individually, one at a time. And so you need good sensors and AI in the software to check for defects when each part is finished being made. That's a very important process, and it's happening in traditional manufacturing as well. We talked about that before. Um, and a second area where AI is important with regard to 3D printing is reproducibility of parts. So in traditional manufacturing, subtractive manufacturing, a CNC machine is used, which is a machine that takes a block of material or a big piece of material and cuts it down until you get the finished shape. And the way that a CNC machine is run is through a program that's manually programmed in most cases. And then um, the machine follows that program so it can make thousands or tens of thousands of exactly the same part time after time after time through traditional manufacturing by following that program. Well, AI can be used in 3D printing because parts are made one by one by one uh, to make sure that every time you make a part, it's as identical as possible to all the other parts you made. That's really, really important in manufacturing is having that consistency of production. It affects what we talked about a second ago, quality and defects. So really important, uh, Another way that AI can help uh, along with de uh, defect detection is this ensure, ensuring reproducibility of parts. And then uh, a final way is through inventing wholly new materials. And this is already happening. Um, you guys may remember the periodic table from high school and maybe even college, but what uh, the leading edge researchers and materials believe now is that that periodic table represents one of many variations. So for each element in the periodic table, there's many different uh, variables that can be used to slightly change that material. Um, and these materials are revolutionary in the sense that they're much stronger. They last up to 50% longer than some of the existing materials they've replaced, and they can be much, much cheaper in some cases. So 
AI is very, very powerful in uh, material science and very similar to the medical field where it takes a bunch of data and figures out a new way to do it or what's common in a huge set of data. AI software can be used in making in materials for 3D printing uh, to figure out how you tweak a material to make an even better product that's better than anything anyone else has on the market. That's called product differentiation. And it's a main reason why one company is much more successful than another company in manufacturing and making things. So it may not seem like it living in the Western world, <laughs> but uh, manufacturing is still how everything is done. It's just done somewhere else, right? Because every physical thing you own was manufactured somewhere. And that's everything you use all day, every day. Even if you're in a knowledge industry uh, doing computer code, you're still using a computer that was manufactured somewhere. So uh, 3D printing in the lower volumes, meaning 100 pieces or less at this time, maybe up to 1,000 in the future, uh, is, is much cheaper, much more efficient, and with AI-driven software can make the products even better than traditional manufacturing. That's a powerful combination. Next time, we're going to talk more about what AI is doing in specific things that are being made with 3D printing. Talk to you next time. Take care, be well, and please subscribe.